Hey, what is going on YouTube friends and family? It is the guy with beard, guns and gear. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an unbox, mostly because uh, I haven't had the funds lately. I've been working a lot lately and I haven't been very lucky lately. Well, that all changed just recently. Um, I've heard, you guys have probably heard me talk about this store before, but there is a store in Richmond, uh, Ontario called That Hunting Store. Uh, fantastic people, very knowledgeable, and they have uh, magnet draws, okay? So you enter a magnet draw, you can win one of these. Uh, they're like $20, well, most of the time $20, and they put together some really amazing packages, and I'm so happy to have actually won one of those packages, and we're gonna do an unbox on it. So I'm pretty psyched about it. I just picked it up like five minutes ago. It's a pretty, pretty big box. So I'm gonna try and do this while I'm fitting into the frame of the camera. Again, my editor is no longer here. He has moved. So, got my little drop point, little knife here so I can get into it. Um, and you guys know how I feel about certain calibers of rifles. And I'll just let you know that this is one of them. So I'm gonna try and do this. The, uh, le oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. So, every package that you uh, get comes with this absolutely amazing looking cap. Uh, very famous store, especially if you live in uh, Ontario, but also if you live in Canada. My dog's making a nest out of the uh, paper. That's what you can hear in the background. Uh, he does that. So, uh, I'll talk about these products as I go through them and I pull them out of the box. The first one that was um, included in the package is uh, really cool. Uh, it is the Emax Low Profile with Pro Range Glasses, uh, active noise uh, reduction, hearing protection. And you guys know how I feel about hearing protection. I've got a little bit of ringing on my ears, probably from the years and years and years of being in the military. Uh, firing um, all kinds of caliber rifles all the way up to like 50 cal and back in the mid 80s you're on exercise training or whatever uh, earring protection was not considered uh, important so um, a lot of exposure to small arms fire and uh, I, I, I can feel it now as I'm into my 50s that um, that's this kind of product would have been greatly appreciated back in the day. And this is fantastic if you're going out to the range. I have a couple of sets. Uh, this is like set number three. I haven't tried the Caldwell um, Emax, but I have another set of Caldwell and they work fantastic. So uh, really stoked on that. More packing paper. More packing paper. Yeah, she packs the stuff uh, pretty good. Ooh, and what is this? This is the uh, a little folder. It's a hunter. Uh, pretty cool. It's uh, labeled as like an everyday carry OD green handle. Very nice looking knife. Uh, double safe hunter uh, in cold steel. So sorry, I have to get the glasses off. I don't know how my cold steel works out. I don't know how Ben Stiller would feel about me um, appropriating his cold steel or how Ben Stiller feels about a knife. Uh, all right, so there's a little bit of packing paper and then there is the piece de resistance. Or as we say, the best to last. Put that drop point knife aside, get rid of this box because it's extremely cumbersome and it's in the way. And I'll check it later and make sure I'm not missing anything. And there it is, uh, Henry, right? Made in the USA, lifetime warranty. Uh, so what's inside the box? I mean, you already know if it's a Henry rifle, is there a better reputation as far as 22s? I don't think there is. I, so I know that it's a 22 caliber. I was notified as soon as I won the uh, fridge magnet. Let's get this sucker out of the bag and get a good look at it. Wow, 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 Oh my God, the thing is so cool. So there you go. 
It is the Henry uh, pump action. You know what, I'm gonna just grab a, uh, oh good, another uh, safe magnet thing. I like those. Uh, inspect for ammunition first, do not pull the trigger. That's kind of a good thing to have. And then there's the little uh, manual that comes with it, and I don't see anything else. So there it is, the Henry 22 pump action, uh, commonly referred to as the gallery gun, uh, because back in the day before guns were, uh, you know, really, uh, let's say, uh, 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 villainized, right? So guns are bad, they hurt people, blah, 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 blah. Back in the day, you could go to a carnival, a fair, and they would have um, a version of a pump action 22 loaded up with some low power shorts. And you could pay a dollar, probably even less, way back in the day. Uh, I do remember going to a fair and seeing um, the galleries set up and they had all these little 22s. Uh, and again, you could just like plink and knock down the little metal targets. So let's talk about this absolutely gorgeous. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is the first um, gallery style gun that I have. First pump action 22 that I have. I do have quite a few 22s, but this is the first one. Oh boy, that's a little, that's a little stiff. First couple of workings of the action, but I'm sure it'll loosen up. I'll talk a little bit about this rifle. Uh, okay. Uh, talk a little bit about it. Okay, like I said, Henry, is there a more American brand when it comes to levers or 22s or, or, or pumps? Uh, there's so many different models out there. Golden Boy, this one included. There's the traditional levers. They all kind of have the very similar look that makes them that iconic. And I mean, this is about as American as you can get as far as the look and style of it. Uh, it takes you back to the old West days. Um, what's more American than this? 57 Chevy Bel Air, maybe? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even know. Oh, I did bring something just in case the dog was harassing me. There we go. That'll buy me five, ten minutes. Uh, octagonal barrel, uh, blued steel, tube magazine, which uh, is really cool, especially if you have, like, if you're into the semis and stuff. Uh, you know, there's nothing that is innovative and fancy about this. It's just a straight up like heirloom type 22. You can pass this down generations. This firearm will be around uh, extremely solid. And like I said, I'm kind of curious to see how that pump works. Again, we'll talk about it. It's not overly heavy. Um, six pounds, which is very decent. It does a uh, chamber the 22 long rifle, a long 22, as well as the short. So that's kind of the advantage you have with a tube magazine is, is they're not overly fussy as what type of ammunition that it will take. And you know my feelings on a pump or a lever, it will basically chew through anything. Uh, length of pull is uh, 14 inches. So although you know your, your young ones and smaller people will have fun shooting this, it's made for a full-size adult. I have long arms. It fits me perfect. It's got some buckhorn sights, or I guess they're semi-buckhorn sights, which are fully adjustable. Okay, for windage and elevation, there's quick clicks on there, as well as a, a little screw part. And there's like a brass bead front blade, if you can see that. And it's got a 3 8 dovetail up here if you wanted to mount an optic. I don't know if I will. Maybe a little red dot or something like that uh, might be very cool. Especially where this is going to be, you know, basically it is a, a gallery gun. So, again, that action is a little bit stiff. You know, finished in uh, American Walnut. So, a really nice feel and a really nice finish on the wood. Uh, the... I believe the model designation of this is uh, H003T, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, as far as safety, you're not going to see any like external safety, there's no tang, there's no cross bolt, uh, nothing like that, but it does have a quarter cock. So what you can do is, uh, if the hammer is all the way forward, you can pull it back, and you have probably heard that very distinctive click, and now it's in the quarter cock. So what does that mean? It means I can't do anything with it, okay? Basically the firearm is immobilized. I can't pull the trigger. I can't 
The only way to clear this at this point is to cock it and either let the action go all the way forward or uh, cock it if there's a round in there. Let's say I was you know, setting up to shoot and I had it at, at uh, quarter cock, then I could cock it all the way back, fire the action and uh, continue. Magazine capacity, okay, I said with the tube mag, a lot of people like the detachable magazines, and I get it, uh, it it's interesting, but for me, seeing a little rifle like this, uh, either in the pump or in the lever kind of category, it doesn't look right, and I we talked about this on the uh, BLR uh, 243 Winchester video, it doesn't quite look right. I get it, I know why they did it, you can shoot pointy rounds in a magazine fed um, firearm, but for me, this has got to be a tube magazine, and the capacity on this is 15 uh, long rifle, or 21, I believe, shorts. And uh, from what I've seen, a lot of people have been able to fit 23 into that. So if you get some short ammo, you might have a magazine capacity of 23, which is good for a lot of plinking. I mean, these things are really easy to load. Basically, you rotate the little tube, and everything is going to be a little stiff because it's new. Um, that's what I'm used to seeing, like the brass in there. Okay, and you can see the little loading area right. Uh, just uh, my hands are not quite long. Right there. So you just load, you know, tip it upright and load the uh, cartridges into the tube. Once you get up where you can see the rounds in that uh, window. Then you just basically close that off and there's a spring inside. In fact, I'll take this out so you can kind of look at it if you've never seen one of these before. There is a plunger on the end, okay? And the rounds feed up into this tube once you close it and there's a spring on the inside. And if you've got too many rounds, you won't be able to close the tube and therefore the spring will not put pressure uh, on the rounds and you won't get any following when you go to rack the action and chamber another round. It is a, a beautiful, beautiful looking firearm, and we'll talk about the price on this. Um, obviously, I was very fortunate in that um, I won a fridge magnet, and it came with this package. But if you had to buy this, they go anywhere Canadian, $800 to $900. This is not a cheap rifle. Henry... Uh, rifles are not cheap. There's, they put out all kinds of special editions. In fact, coming up, there's a Father Day uh, edition. There's like a trucker edition, you know, for the um, patriotic trucker kind of guys. Uh, there's that. Uh, there, there's the Golden Boy. Like, there's so many different editions, and uh, they're not cheap. An alternative, the only one that I know right now that does a pump 22 gallery style uh 22 god's having glass down there is rossi and i mean from what i've seen they both work really well you can tell by the fit and finish uh that this is a superior quality firearm this is an heirloom firearm that you can pass down to the next generation but there's nothing wrong with the rossi and it works very well uh so Obviously, we're gonna take this out of the range. Um, I think this would be a fantastic, but let me see, what would I use this for? I think this will be a great little plinker. Um, if you wanted to hunt with it, wow. Yeah, of course you could hunt with it. Uh, in the US where squirrel hunting is very popular, this would definitely be a firearm that you could go hunt some squirrels. Put a little small game on the table, some rabbits, uh, anything like that. Again, with that versatility of taking the shorts and the longs, uh, you can load up and with the way that 22 rounds are going now there's I, I mean we're not in that shortage anymore thank God so you can buy a variety and find out what works best for you uh, I'm just laughing at the dog because he's having a little blast down there I don't know what his problem is but anyway the only thing that I, I, I might be a little worried about um, and you know it does have that very straight stock on it very traditional looking stock but if you had short hands uh, and you were uh, racking that action, you know, fast shooting, blah, 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 you know, like getting loading it and racking that action. I could see that that could pinch you. You know, you can see how close my thumb is to where that comes back. Very short, uh, I mean, it's a solid action though. I assume that it's gonna wear in as time goes by, but it's a solid action. 
Uh, you do not want to <laughs> choke weight up on it because it will bite you. All right, and then, like I said, I've got the... <laughs> I've got the Ear Defenders, uh, Ear Protection. If you haven't seen that, go check out the video on that. And I've got a little cold steel knife, uh, which looks uh, really good. And I'll see about the quality of that. I think it's just a nice locking blade. It's got the uh, little clip on it. You know, an everyday carry kind of blade. Something to keep around, cut whatever you need to cut. Okay, you should always have a couple of knives. I do like Kniffs uh, a lot and I haven't seen this. I don't know if this is, I mean, it's from uh, Texas, so it's uh, more, than uh, more than likely, you know, US uh, steel. I don't see any Chinese stamping on it, so that's always a good sign. And there it is, the Henry Pump Action 22 H003T, I believe. Uh, we're gonna shoot this out of range, and so please pay attention and follow me up to the range when we go and do it. This is obviously part one of this, this is the unbox. And uh, I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to click that like, subscribe. If you guys are shooting uh, this firearm, let me know what you think about it. I mean, is it a good one for um, use? I love 22 calibers, I've got a bunch of them. Uh, I think it's a great youth firearm. It's also great to go out there and shoot a whole bunch all day and it doesn't cost you a fortune. 22 ammo is very uh, affordable, especially if you do a lot of shooting. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this unbox. Uh, I'm thrilled to have it. I think it's a fine piece to add to any collection or if you're in the market for a 22 and you wanna go all out uh, you're not into the tactical, you want something really traditional looking, this is certainly, uh, I mean, this is your choice, right? Like this, this if you want the iconic 22, get this. Uh, the only thing I would say, maybe if you want the iconic 22 Henry, you might want to go lever action, but um, I don't have any pumps 22, so I think this is really cool. I'm going to see how it functions. Don't forget to click that like, subscribe please, keep following me, and you guys have yourself a wonderful day. I know that mine has just been fantastic so far today.